Hey lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back to see my next video. I'm very excited to talk to you about a new launch that has literally just dropped on the drugstore beauty market which is fab and I think everybody should know about. So before I give you a sneak peek with swatches I'm gonna give you the details on all of these bad boys. I am super excited about the fact that L'Oreal have just increased their Colour Riche range of lipsticks. Last year the Colour Riche range were an absolute godsend for lipstick lovers who didn't want to break the bank but got an epic formula. This year the brand new Colour Riche Shine collection woo -woo, has just dropped and what makes these lipsticks a little bit extra special is they're not for your matte lovers, nope. These ones are for your creamy finish, your lip gloss, your lip balm lovers, anybody who likes a slightly more wet look to their lips, like moi. These lipsticks are gonna be for you. So, the new Colour Riche lipsticks, there are 13 available shades, ta-da! And I have all 13 to swatch for you, which I will do shortly, but let me just tell you a little bit about them. As I mentioned, they're a multi-purpose lip product. So, unlike previous lipsticks, these ones do have a lip gloss, lip cream finish. They also act like a balm, as well as a treatment for your lips. So, they are well worth every penny of their $8.99 price tag. So, within the 13 colours that they have, there's also something super exciting here for lipstick lovers. Big news, you know those lip toppers that are literally going crazy and everyone has got them in their new collections? L'Oreal have jumped on that bandwagon and I, for one, am super impressed. Drum roll, please. <coughs> yep, included in the Colour Riche Shine lipsticks, there are three fantastic holographic lip toppers for you to use either individually on their own and they will give you a gorgeous high dimension holographic lip finish or you can pair them up with any of the other colours, layer them over the top and give yourself an extra shade to work with and to play with for creating your perfect lip colour. Now, as I said, there are 13, I'm going to say that again probably for the millionth time, there are 13 shades in the collection. I want to swatch them all for you because I thought, you know what, when I'm thinking about buying a lipstick, I want to see what it looks like on before I buy it. So, swatch wise, I'm going to swatch every single colour in the collection so you can see and decide which ones you guys want. In between, I'm just going to remove with some micellar water and a cotton bud because that is generally the least offensive way to remove lots of makeup when you're switching things up. Don't be using baby wipes. Psst, baby wipes. Don't be using baby wipes, folks, because I tell you why, even the sensitive ones will agitate your lips. Okay, so as I mentioned, the three lip toppers are the ones I have here, but I'm not going to swatch them until last, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a close-up. Let me start with these ones. So there are three shades, as I said, there is 905, which is Bay, 906, which is Girls' Night, and 470, which is Mampton Nirvana. Now this is 905. So as you can see, it is a just a pure white holographic lip colour, perfect for you layering over the top of any other lip colour that you may have. So they are, for $8.99, forget all those high-end companies doing these amazing lip toppers, guys. These are the ones you need to get in your collection. This one is 906. It's slightly more of a grey shade. So there are a couple and there is also the other one which is like a purple tone and I'll show you at the end. But let's start with the colours. So I'm going to start with 642 which is hashtag MLBB. It is a gorgeous nude tone which would be perfect for every day and I know that nude tones are massive right now so I'm just going to swatch it for you. Oh wow, that is creamy. So that one there is 642. It is a new tone, but seriously guys, that is perfect for everyday pinks and nude lovers. 
Okay, so next up is 643, which is a slightly darker tone, brown, nude. These colours don't always look great on me, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to point out, from the first one I tried, these feel like I'm putting on a lip balm. They feel lovely. And they actually taste really good too. 643, guys. Now, considering I just said that these sorts of tones don't usually work for me, the fact that these are like a balm, like a tinted balm, but then it's like the colour actually deepens once it's on your lips. I've never actually used a lip product like this, and these colours never suit me, but this one I am loving. Next up on my list is 112, which is probably the one that I saw out of the whole collection that I thought, actually, this one is my tone of pink. It's like an everyday ruby rose, cute little pink rose tone colour. And that one is lovely as well. I love that one. 112, that is only in Paris. And this perfectly goes with my eye makeup as well as my outfit. 112, guys. I'm going to also point out that I actually think they taste like blackcurrant, which is really nice. Like, they smell kind of fruity as well as tasting really, really cute. Like, literally like you're having a glass of blackcurrant. I love the little taste. Next up is 245, which is a coral toned red. I'd say it's more on the coral orange colour spectrum. These colours always look lovely in the summer and I'm a big fan of coral. So, here we go. See, I think that one's pretty cute too. Definitely a good one for the summer. So this is 245, high on craze. Next up, we have the lady in red. Yeah, we do. This is 350, insane sation. Insane sation? Insane sation instead of insensation. Now that payoff, oh my God, I love it. Wow, I love red lipstick. I'm a big fan of a good old red. This, however, is creamy, it feels soft on me, and I feel like it kind of actually really works well with my skin tone. I'm ready for my close-up. Next up is 352, which is Beauty Guru, which is another red, probably not quite as bold, slightly, I'd say, brighter, like a London bus kind of bright. So let's have a go of this one. So yeah. Definitely more of the London telephone box, London bus kind of red. I'd say this one's more like rosy, like a rosy tone red, but I love it just as much. So this one, guys, is 352. Next up is 109, 109, which is Pursue Pretty, which is more of a fuchsia bright pink tone as opposed to a red. So I'm hoping, I've got wet lips. I'm hoping that this one will look good on me because I love me some pink. So I would say that this one reminds me of like a watermelon pink tone. It is super pretty, definitely as bright as the reds, but just with a little bit more of a pink tone in them. And I absolutely love this one as well. This one is definitely the watermelon kind of pink. So this one, guys, is 109. Moving on to the slightly more purple tones now, we've got 465 which is hashtag trending, which is more like, it's like the fuchsia one I just tried, like the watermelon tone pink, but probably with a little bit more purple in it. Again, another great colour payoff. Well, I don't know if it's intentional, but these literally darken when they're on the lips. They, they go on like a balm, but the colour intensifies, and I love that because it literally, it's like it's working with what you've already got as a colour and a pigment in your lip. So this one is 465, this one's hashtag trending. Okay, so we've only got a couple more to go. So the next one is slightly more on the purple tones. Again, six, no, 464 colour hype. I'd say it's like more of like a nude purple. So it's definitely, it's, bas it's basically like a subdued purple. So that one's quite cute too. Like, what I am loving about these lipsticks is that they're all so usable. Like, do you know what I mean? Sometimes you see lipsticks in the shop and they look amazing, but you think, God, I could never pull that off. But these literally, I looked at some of the colors and I thought, mm, those are not gonna suit me. But actually, I haven't found one yet that I wouldn't rock or like pull out or night out, school run. Like literally, there isn't a bad one in the collection. There isn't like one that's gonna be left over like hanging around. Anyway, like I said, six, four, six. 
So last of the colour lipsticks before I move on to the toppers. This is six. I'm getting on my fours and my six is mixed up. This is four six six. I repeat, four six six, like a boss. Uh huh. Definitely a purple. I mean, I can't really describe it in any other way than a purple. Guys, I've never, and I repeat, never been able to pull off a purple before. But this one is cute. 466, hashtag like a boss. So those were the lipsticks in the collection. I'm going to go back and I'm going to slick on probably one of my favourites in the pinks and then I'm going to put the holographic lip coats over the top so you can see what a difference they will make to your chosen lip colour. So for my chosen base, I'm probably going to go for... 112 only in Paris because I thought that was quite a cute and a very me everyday shade. Okay, so that's 112 again on its own and now I'm going to pop over the top. This is 905 hashtag bay, the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. So we're going to see what this does on top of 112. Now I'm not sure if you can see that but it's given it a really subtle, glittery, holographic dimension over the top. Just gonna see if I can. It's just basically like a glitter with a very fine pigmentation to move even further away from anything that looks possibly matte in this shade which none of them actually do. So I'm also gonna then just swatch on the back of my hand 906, which you might see actually a little bit darker. Still really, really pigmented and a lot of kind of like fine pinky tones in that one. So although it is gray, I actually think that this one's gonna work with like everyday nudes over the top. And then we've got 470, which is then we've got 470, which is the darker of all three. Now that one is a topper as well, technically. Now that one is a topper as well, technically, but it's got such a high color payoff, you could also wear that one on its own. But these three, I would say that the um, holographic pigmentation in all three is more of a pink tone. So it's gonna pretty much work with all of your warm tones, your nudes, your pinks, your reds, and your purples too. So there we go guys, I have swatched all 13 of the brand new Shine Color Riche lipsticks from L'Oreal for you. I hope you found some new ones to try to pick up next time you're at your local Boots or Superdrug or anywhere else that stocks L'Oreal. I would say that my final thoughts on these are they are incredibly creamy, very, very much like you're putting on a lip balm. In fact, it feels exactly like a lip balm, but the color payoff is like a creamy lipstick. I am in love with these. Like, matte lipsticks are not my thing really. Like, I've got a lot because I get to try them and things, which I'm so grateful for. But creamy, glossy, anything with more of a dimension is my kind of thing. These feel lovely on my lips. I've just gone through trying 13 on and I've had to rub cotton wool and micellar water over my lips in between to remove them. And yet, usually that would make my lips hurt. These are so nourishing, my lips don't hurt, they're not kind of stinging at all and I've tried 13 different shades on. So that in itself should show you that the treatment side of these lipsticks is just as good as the colour payoff. So for $8.99, I literally can't fault these lipsticks. I haven't found a single colour in the collection that I don't like or that I think I wouldn't wear. They are all very wearable because the shades themselves are so buildable as you've just seen. So guys, I hope you liked seeing my first ever video trialing a whole collection of products. I had so much fun doing it. I would absolutely love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Guys, I'm working so hard on my YouTube stuff right now, so please click on the subscribe button below. Make sure you leave me a fabulous comment, and I am trying to reply to every single comment you guys leave me. So if there's anything you wanna know, let me know which color you liked the most, which one you're gonna pick up, which one you didn't like, like, just leave me a little, little comment because they make me feel good inside and like people like my videos so yeah make sure you click subscribe come back for my next video and also guys search me out on instagram you'll find me lady writes blog <laughs>